morning. Good morning. Is this uh, Rose? Yes, it is. Okay, Rose, I heard that uh, there's a Michigan Buzzard Festival going on, and you, and you know all about it. Yes. Okay, yes. it's, it's going to be in what, Hell, Michigan? Hell, Michigan. <laughs> it's our annual Buzzard Festival. Now, this happens, what, every year? Every year in May, yeah, the third Saturday in May. Okay, how long has this been going on? Oh, I believe this is our eighth year. Okay, so eight years of buzzards. Yes. Now, what, so what do you do for this festival? Well, we have an arts and crafts show. Uh, my husband, Jim, who is a self-appointed mayor, he it's not, put... Now, is he the self-appointed mayor of... Hell. Of hell? Yes. Okay. Or I he won by of, one of the... vote, his own. <laughs> really? Yes. Really? That's pretty good. Well, now, see, now that this that goes to prove, it's a good thing he went out and voted, right? Right. Okay. And um, he does a bu- uh, buzzard bone barbecue, which is baby back spirits. And uh, that's one of the main events. And we have a, a live uh, buzzard coming. At He'll be here from 1 to 3. To, and uh, his name is Dracula. Okay, a live buzzard. Live buzzard. On stage. Uh, on in Hell, stage. Michigan. Yes. Okay. And then we have um, uh, Benny and the Jets. They'll be here. Uh, from three to six. So that that's not Elton John. That's a, that's a group called Benny and the Benny Jets. Benny and the Jets. Yeah, they do music fifties and sixties. Oh, okay. And we also have the Dexter Community Band, which will be uh, on at eleven, and Hickory Hickory Rose String Band at noon. We have Cloggers coming, and like I said, Benny and the Jets at three, and we have Country Line Dancing from six to eight. We have Moonwalk, Pony Rides, a Space Ball Ride. So um, it's, a, it's a major event for the yeah, buzzards. Yeah. Now, why why is it because of the buzzards? Why why is it such a big deal because of buzzards? Well, being... the buzzards come here to roost, and it just seemed a perfect spot, hell and buzzards. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I guess they, they go all over there, because, I mean, yeah, Hinkley, Ohio also has a buzzard festival in March. Yes, they do. Yeah, so which is past, so then they come to your to your lovely town. and. Uh, well, they're here in March. It's just that we have to do everything outside, so we have to wait for some Oh, for some nice good weather. weather, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And besides, yeah. you don't want to put a buzzard inside. It just doesn't really... Well, they don't feed him that day. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure that his, <laughs> his stomach is empty. Okay. Well, he, he might be looking at everybody. That looks right. Like somebody that might be falling asleep might have to watch it, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it's a real fun time. Okay. Now, how big is Hell, Michigan? We're not big. We're very small. There's only three businesses in town. Okay. And, uh, so it's like one of those places, if you blink your eye, you missed it? Yes. Okay. I mean, uh, we do have signs, but... Uh, so you guys probably don't even have a last name then, because you, you know everybody, right? Just about, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, if, I, if I went to Hell, Michigan, I said, can you tell me where Rose and Jim are? They would, they would point right at where you were at, right? They would. Okay. Yes. Okay, would you, like, you have like a, uh, a buzzard guarding your steps or anything, or no? Um, no, we, we, we brought them in because uh, they take everything. <laughs> <laughs> they steal everything in hell. <laughs> <laughs> they steal everything in hell. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you leave anything <laughs> out, uh, so yeah. our buzzard is inside. We do have a buzzard. Well, you do have a buzzard. You yeah. Well, old... not real, but he's a buzzard. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You're not talking about Jim now. No. Oh, okay, he's an good. old buzzard, but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the buzzards steal hell away. Okay. <laughs> that's that's kind of that's kind of scary. Now what? How did how did hell get its name? I mean, come on, that's very unusual for a place in Michigan called hell. Well, um, back in the 1800s, a man by the name of George Reeves, he was the postmaster in Pinckney. And um, when his term was over, he, uh, well, he didn't get along with the people either. He moved his family out this way and uh, started a a town. He had a mill and uh, a store, and they used to make whiskey here. Uh It was legal. And uh, so when the farmers would bring their grain to be milled, they would... um, get whiskey and in exchange you know for the grain and uh get drunk and gamble and <laughs> okay. the ladies of the night would be here and they'd have a hell of a time so i when, see okay. when it was time to be named he wanted to call it reevesville or reeves junction and they said no so he told them uh to go to hell ah. and they could call it hell and they did whoa heavy stuff heavy stuff <laughs> so uh, so how, so what why, so did uh, Jim, when he became mayor, he cleaned up the town? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's still... You um, still have a hell of a time, right? still have a hell of a time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All and right. we also, I, you know, I forgot to mention, too, we do have a beer tent this year. Okay. Doug, and and uh, have a great time in hell uh, with the Buzzard Festival. Thank you very much. We will. And uh, thanks for talking with me. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.